Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. I of course have a, another package in today and as you can see it's it's a relatively decent size and I'm trying to think of how you say this. Bozilli, I believe, is the name of the company. And uh, let's go ahead and look inside, show you what we've got. All right guys, so this is what we got inside the package there. And uh, as you can see, um, you probably wouldn't know just glancing at it what this was unless you were into kind of the culture per se uh, but what this is this is actually a grow light um, all these little uh, basically circles here the little indentations those are all different leds uh, now we do have different colors in this of course to cover uh, the different spectrum of colors that plants need to grow of course and uh, so what I did, I got this, I'm going to start into some hydroponics and uh, with that hydroponics, I'm going to be doing it indoors uh, and I'm going to be doing just a relatively low yield. Uh, one nice thing about this is, as you can see, this is a fairly decent size in terms of like a square, but this is not just a square. It actually opens up into a nice large rectangle. This is approximately, I think it's uh, 18 inches roughly across and then roughly about a foot wide. And then the whole thing itself, it's less than an inch thick right there. Uh, you can see on the back, it just has a simple panel on the back, nothing really much to it. Uh, it does have the information right there in LED grow light. It does of course use the standard uh, electrical outlet uh, 110 uh, that you can plug into the wall, which of course is what this cable right here is for. You then have the plug right there. You also have the power button on the side right here, just a simple toggle switch. And right here, and I don't know how well you can see this right here, there are three little dots, and those three little dots actually correspond, uh, actually it's on this side, sorry. Um, these three little dots right here, they correspond with timing. And uh, these are set up so that it can be adjusted from 12 to 15 to 18 hours of daylight. So this will actually have, uh, have itself set up. You time it for however long you need for the types of plants that you're gonna be growing and what stage they're in in terms of their growth. And then we've also got the instructions here. It's real simple. It's just a, like one page uh, front and back here. Now, uh, the one thing I did notice is that it is in English, but there's also German on it as well. So there are two languages and then it tells you some uh, the breakdown of the information as well as the few parts that it comes with obviously the panel itself you've got the cord here and then you also have this which is the hardware the hardware here is actually hanging hardware it's just some cables along with some class and there is a uh, carabiner that uh, you use to hang everything from so that it lays in, in a set suspended uh, above your above your plants there so um, you would basically hook it into you have these little latch areas you'd hook it in there it would then suspend it from those and uh, you could then adjust the height so that it is above the plants wherever you need it to be let's go ahead and plug it in we'll take a look at what this looks like though all right, so I've got this plugged in and I actually had to uh, kind of step away for a minute to uh, figure something out because I tried plugging in before and I wasn't quite understanding everything. This is what it looks like when it's turned on and just give you a quick, quick light up. And as you can see, nice and very, very bright. Now I'm not sure how well you can see this, but right here on this row, basically right here and then this row uh, right here, you can see it's kind of dark and you've got some dark ones in there. There's a reason for that. This is actually a full spectrum light. Now, when they say full spectrum, they're not kidding because they're actually going clear down into the ultraviolet or up into the ultraviolet range and clear down into the infrared range. On the side here, like I mentioned before, you do have the little uh, uh, dots on the side and they are numbered or well, they are labeled and uh, it's for the different hour range. Uh, I couldn't understand initially what was up with these and actually what it is. There is no specific switch to switch between them. What it is, is it's literally when you turn it off and back on that these will actually change. 
Now, the one thing that threw me off in the instructions is that it talked about having three different colors for the LED. And so it made me think there was one LED that just changed colors to correspond with the, uh, with the timing of it. And actually what it is, is there are three different LEDs, each one a different color. And that one would be the one that lights up according to which uh, time frame it is. So it's very hard to see, but when you sit there and first flip it on, these lights will light up. And I don't know if we'll catch it or not. And it doesn't look like we're going to catch it. It's pretty difficult. But what you do is when you first flip it on there, it's on. It just went to 16 hours. It was on 12. It went to 16. Uh, and then let's see if I can flip it one more time. There, it's on 18. And so the light right here actually lit up. It's still lit up. You just have to get at the exact right angle to be able to see it. And it will flip on just before the rest of the LEDs flip on. As you could see, there was a little bit of a delay. But uh, anyhow, um, I think this is actually a pretty good setup. Uh, it's, it's pretty decent size. If you sit there and create maybe a hood or anything like that, it's sort of like a, a, a pseudo greenhouse with some, uh, some uh, you can either use like the white type of uh, greenhouse kind of coverings or uh, even use a reflective surface something like um, reflective uh, material like mylar or something like that to keep as much light inside as you can uh, that could really give um, this an added boost in terms of how effective this is uh, they don't have to be right down on top of the plants because this is a very bright one because it is the higher wattage uh, so this one is going to be really good for all stages of, uh, of plant growth. For the price of it, compared to a lot of the other ones that I saw out there, other ones were costing hundreds of dollars. Um, and then they were also, uh, what I noticed is they tended to be bigger and bulkier. I think they were using more of the uh, CFLs instead of the LEDs. Uh, of course, this is going to use less overall power. Uh, even then the CFLs and uh, obviously it's in a much more compact size uh, while producing a high amount of light at a lower overall cost. So cost effective? Absolutely I think so. Uh, I'll find out how well it works here shortly once I get my uh, little uh, hydroponics kind of set up put together and then I start uh, germinating seeds and, and maybe even buying some uh, some uh, other stuff maybe i'll get some seedlings and stuff like that and utilize those as well and uh, we'll see how it works and uh, hopefully it does pretty well i did buy two of these so i can uh, use between the two of those i can use those to do a fairly large area but uh, for me and my needs i think this is going to be perfect maybe even more than what i really needed uh, but I'd rather have a little bit more than not enough. If you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. We'll have a link to the Amazon site. And uh, also while you're down there, don't forget to check out the social media. There's that PayPal link that's down there that takes place at Patreon if you want to support the channel. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way down or on your way back up, as well as hitting that subscribe button. You want to know when we got new videos coming out, so hit that bell icon as well. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. This is the World of Me, another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.